Hey, what's going on? Everybody, I know who it is, the JJ. And you know, we back at like an attic, no rehab. You know, I should have brought some gloves, but we in this little, we just picked up. We here at Oklahoma Auto Exchange. A little Honda bucket. 2002, 134,000 miles. Like, need a paint job, ain't the best. But it's got some good tread on there though. It's got some good rubber. I'm gonna have to fix the closed dead, fix that latch, and then fix it. The latch, I'm trying to see if this trunk don't close. It don't lock, it don't lock, but it's gonna go up with it, don't catch. Don't something on the inside. But this thing is really like nasty though. Like, I don't know where this car has been. Like, Hey, look at that. This thing needs a full detail. Look at that. It's like it's just been sitting. I don't even know exactly where you can say it's been sitting. Like, man, it's got to just fuck that because it don't match. Even though you push it all the way up, don't fuck it on that. Where'd it go? Yeah, so I need a new latch. Yeah. Ain't nothing. We can grab, grab one of those at the salvage yard. But this thing is nasty. Like, look, like. Yeah, I didn't even pay no attention to the inside, you know. You know, I always grab some cooling with oil just to make sure. But I got this little mat. Like the driver's side seat is somewhat, somewhat still clean, but I got this mat to sit on, you know. Sitting on this mat because I ain't trying to touch and really nothing. But, what y'all think? They got the good, got the good rubber in there. So we're going to take it to the detail shop. Have them get all this tape off of there. Huh? Said the cable. Yeah, the cable might have just got it. You know what I'm saying? Where it don't stuck it on lock. Yeah, it's probably been. See, you know, it's got to come back. It's like it's right there, but don't make it going back. That's that thing. Is, it's like, only thing good about it is the tires and the oil. See if it's got any leaks or anything right now. Oh, they ain't leaking or dripping nothing. They ain't got a maintenance required light, but they ain't got a check engine light. You ready? Show so y'all. I'm gonna have to show y'all out right there. See how good I'm gonna see how good my detail shop is. You know, but I bought this car for six hundred. I didn't see the I didn't see the inside. I was just looking at the outside, and I, I looked at the outside and looked at the mileage. I didn't really like. I looked at the ins. I peeped. I just kind of peeked in the inside. But as y'all know, when, when you're at an auction and these cars are coming so fast, you know, you only, sometimes you only get a glance to look at them. Hey, shift just fine. But like I said, trunk and I didn't see that person. That's why people, that's why people be having wrecks and stuff like that. I'ma just drive a little solid 30, cause like the hood, the hood in the trunk gotta fix those latches on those as i can tell like this car has been sitting somewhere for a very very long time so after it gets finished getting detailed then i'm gonna fix those latches and change the oil but i feel like once that happens you know i'm gonna tell them like take your time you know i know this one's kind of rough so take take as much time as you need you know because i know like this one's this thing is rough and I feel like it needs like, from what I'm hearing, I can tell like it needs like, look how dirty the windows is. Like you can tell like, look at that, look how, like this stuff is like, that stuff gonna need to be steam clean. This is why I need to find a detailer that does like, a detailer that does like YouTube. Because I could be bringing him like these type of vehicles, and he could be doing like a transformation. Or who knows? I might actually look in the detail, like while I'm just doing, like while I'm just be chilling, you know, save myself some money. I mean, it's not it, at the end of the day, honestly. Okay, so this window works. That one doesn't. That one doesn't. That one doesn't. So obviously, either the switch is bad or something. Something. Something's going on. That's why I might. That's why I might look into doing, man. While I'm just be chilling, while I be having like some downtime, I might start me a little detailing. Not like 
not detailing people's cars because I don't want to I don't want to take on that liability and having to go get other insurance and stuff like that but I think I might start a detail channel because I'll be buying like a lot of these little older cheaper cars and these things be like so nasty like how this one is and see I could be doing like I could be making content on this I could be making content on like this car like okay I bought this and picked it up for this so I could really be doing kind of like a really like a double type of content though because I can be buying the cars like this and then putting them on my channel like showing like okay this is the before and then me just detailing it out to like and like I have to but I'm in my videos I'm gonna have to explain to people like I ain't no professional detailer so and these are the cars I purchased so I don't know I might think about it let me know in the comment section you know would y'all be interested in me doing like a detail channel where I just clean like I'll get cars like this because I be having cars all the time that y'all be seeing in these cars that I be buying like these little cheaper cars I ain't gonna even say cheaper cars because I done bought cars for two three thousand dollars that was just as, this is nasty so might show because then maybe I can get a little maybe I can get a little sponsorship with a little detail I mean with some detail and supplies and get some cheaper details cleaning supplies but Other than that, like I said, it's got a maintenance required light, but that's probably because it's been sitting so long. Probably just a good old, good old oil change. Top up all the fluids, um, seat belt. You know, that's I ain't touching nothing in this. It shifts all its gears. It doesn't overheat. I'm not checking. I'm not touching none of that stuff. You know, I'm not. All I'm touching is like this part of the steering wheel. That's it. I don't want nothing. I don't want to touch nothing else. But let me know in the comment section below. Shall I do the detailing? Like, shall I like have a second channel where I just be like detailing like some of these dirty cars we be getting in? You know, it's where I, cause I can make like one or two. I can make like one video a week or two. Or, you know, just do like a like weekly videos transforming, like basically showing y'all like do a, like a two minute before video and then like two minute after video and stuff like that. And then I can do like YouTube shorts too. I like how dirty these cars is and I'm always gonna be buying and selling cars so I'll always be finding dirty cars so I think that's a good thing and let me know in the comment section below what you what can I sell this car for I think like 2200 bucks is a great is a great deal I think it's detailed up you know 2200 Civic with only 134,000 miles yeah 2200 dollars 2200 dollars is a steal appreciate everybody for rocking with me if you haven't already you know like this video subscribe I'm out peace